Hello everybody, Greg Steger here, your K12 Tech Guy, with a video to show you how to add animation to content on your slide so that you can bring it onto the stage with some various animated effects. Uh, maybe you want to do this just to spice things up, or maybe you just want to wait and only reveal certain things when you're ready to talk about them. Either way, this will be a nice way to get you started in creating some of those animations. So here we go. You can see I've got PowerPoint open right now and I'm using currently version 2013 and what I'm going to do is go ahead and start bringing some content onto the slides because we're going to need that in order to do some animations. I'm going to start by getting rid of these here and then I'm going to go to insert and we'll add a text box here and we'll just type in here one and then I'm going to actually just change the size of this. We're creating a PowerPoint so we want things to be big enough for the audience to see, right? And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this a few times so that I've got some extras to move into each of the corners. So we've got you know something in, in a different different places to bring in. And there we go. Let's move that right there. Voila, and let's bring in some different content. Let's bring in a picture, and I'll just type uh, landscape and see what we got here. Something interesting. Oh, well, it may not be too interesting, but here we go. It's a huge uh, winter landscape, which this is exactly what Wisconsin is looking like right now. No joke. Let's add a little border to that. Uh, we'll insert a shape now. Let's take an arrow, draw an arrow on here. So basically I'm just putting some different kinds of content on the screen so that you can see that this works regardless of the the actual type of content that you have. Whether it's a shape or a picture or just a text box, um, these animation effects will work uh, with any of them. And let's go ahead and we're going to put a text box on here give that the number five and we'll make this nice and big there 60 bold all right and we're going to put one right down here and we're going to change that to a six all right now we've got one there let's make this two Let's make this three. Better make that a little longer so it fits. There we go. And we'll make this one four. All right, so now I've got some things that I've got numbered here for the simplicity of seeing how we want these to come onto the screen. And uh, actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with this picture. And I'm going to highlight it so that it's the active object on the stage. And then I'm going to go to my Animations tab. And here I see a number of different animations that are available to me. I get a little drop down so I can choose to look at some other options here. These green ones are the entrance animations. So these are how things are going to come onto the stage. Here are some things where we can provide emphasis to things that are on the stage by uh, changing some of their properties. And then here are some different exit animations. So how are those objects being taken off of the stage? And you can also set specific paths so that they can travel in certain ways or set your own custom path. So you, you know, if you wanted, you could make it look like a car was driving across the screen or something like that. So lots of different choices to choose here. We're just going to look at bringing in some entrance uh, things here. So how do we want this big picture to pop in? Let's have it come in with a fly-in. There, look at that, it just comes sliding up the screen there, so it shows that. Now let's go to number one. We'll have that be a split, and then we'll highlight number two, and let's have two be a wipe, and then let's click number three, and have three be a wheel. Yeah. Oh, that's kind of slow. Oh, look, we can change the time on it. Let's drop the time down to one second. And let's click number four. 
and click random bars. Number five, we go, we got text and the arrow there, so let's do the both. And combine those together so that they're all one thing. All right, then we'll highlight that, and that can be the grow and turn. And then we'll highlight number six, and that one can zoom in. Okay, so I've got all of these objects set up to animate in. So if I go full screen with my presentation, all I have is my background because we're waiting right now for the click to advance, which will bring in the next thing. There slides our picture. Then we got number one, click number two, click number three, click number four, five, and six. So everything comes in just as we want it to. Now, you know, I've got these numbered items though, one, two, three, four, five, six in the picture, but the picture comes in first. The picture's number one. I want to switch that up. I want the picture to be at the end because I want the numbered items to match the order in which they're coming in. So instead of one coming in second, I want one to come in first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this picture and I'm going to, I'm going to click that so it's highlighted. And you see that there's a little number next to it that says number one. There's a little number up here that says two, you know, five, there's four, there's three. All right, those are the order of precedence as they come in on the screen. So I'm going to start by highlighting the picture and right over here in the upper right I see reorder animation and I have the option to move earlier or move later. And because it's first in the list uh, I don't have an option to go any earlier than first so that's grayed out at the moment but I can move it into a later order or position of animation. So I'm going to just keep clicking that and you'll see that this number changes as I do that. So I'm going to move it later. Now it's two, three. I'm going to move it all the way to the end, number seven. And the other things change their numbers appropriately. So now one is one, two is two, three is three, and so on. Let's test it and make sure it works. Go full screen. Click number one. Click two. Click three. Click four, five, six, and seven is the picture. So it works great. Um, so that's just a quick and easy breakdown of how you can add some animation to the content. Doesn't matter what kind of content it is, whether it's a text box, a shape, or a picture, what have you, you can animate each of those things on the screen. And we've had an opportunity to see how we can just reorder the sequence of those animations so that it, it matches what you're trying to present and things are coming on and they're not out of order. So I hope that this was helpful for you. Thanks so much. Have an awesome day.